Excuse me, Nelson. Yeah, Nate. Have you finished the Brooklyn order yet? Yeah, Nate. I finished it this afternoon, when you asked me to. Oh, well, my definition of finished is when you mark a check next to the list. The reason why this place functions is because we stick to a game plan. We create order by sticking to a game plan. And if you do not have order, you do not have control. And gentlemen, it is seven o'clock, time to go. Control freak, yeah. But I never took him for being such a romantic. Seems a little over the top, don't you think? Come on, please tell me you've noticed him carrying flowers every night for the past two weeks. Well, look, I promised I wouldn't say anything. Come on. Well, Sophia left him. She left him? Wow. Wait, how come you know this and I don't? Like I said, I promised I wouldn't say anything, but about two weeks ago I came in to open up the shop early. Hear the noise in the back. Come back to check it out. And there's Nate crying over a pile of clothes. He was in here in the middle of the night, working. Yeah, it seemed strange. I wasn't sure if he was drunk or just out of it, but it just wasn't a pretty sight. Yeah, well, that's what I like to do when I'm in a bad mood: is come to work. It's just weird. In between sobs, I managed to gather from him that you know Sophia was unhappy. She'd been talking about leaving him. Well, that's surprising. I mean, she's beautiful and cool. And he's New York's best dry cleaner three years running? Come on, Nate's the kind of guy who probably schedules sex. If she already left, what's he doing bringing flowers home? Well, he's just a human being. He's clinging to the hope that when he gets home, she'll be there.
Hey, Nate. Maria called in six days. You're going to have to cover for her. Hey, Nate. Are you okay? Something you'd like to say to my face, Liam? I didn't say anything. We need to talk. I don't even know where to begin telling you about what happened today. Today was one of the... As I was saying, today was a really weird day. 